everyone, Sandy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a little mini, mini album that I call it um, for some fun winter uh, pictures. This is my third project using Echo Parks, my favorite winter paper collection, and I'm making this one out of scraps. This is for Country Craft Creations as a designer on their design team. And I am going to start off by using two sheets of the Artisan cardstock in the denim blue from Country Craft Creations. So you're going to need two of these. And your scraps, I will share how I cut these up. I have them stacked here on the side. So first I'm going to cut mine, the cardstock, and I'll share the measurements with you and the scoring. Then we'll assemble it and then we'll add our pattern papers. Okay, from those two 12 by 12 sheets of denim artisan cardstock that you can order from Country Craft Creations, I've cut out five pieces for this little mini, mini album. So the first one I cut out, you want one piece that is nine and a half by four and a quarter. Nine and a half by four and a quarter. Your second piece needs to be nine and a quarter by three and three eighths. Then we need one that is nine inches by four and a quarter. That's the third piece. Fourth piece is going to be eight and three quarters long by three inches wide. And the last, fifth and last piece of cardstock, eight and a half inches wide by four and a quarter tall. So I've stacked all these up. I'm going to line them back up and I'll show you what, how I scored them. So take your first piece. I did put a number on them so I would know which is which. The first piece, which is nine and a half long, you're going to put the long side in at the top of your scoreboard. And then you're going to score at four and a quarter. And turn it and score again at four and a quarter. Actually, if I turn this over this way, it'll do better. Four and a quarter. Oops four and a quarter, one direction, completely turn it around and score it four and a quarter again. Okay, so that's the first piece. The second piece, which is your nine and a quarter inches long, you're going to put that in, you're going to score at four and a quarter, turn it completely around and score at four and a quarter again. You're going to do this on all of them and you will notice that the spaces between your score lines are getting uh, more narrow and that's correct. So your third piece which is your nine inch score it four and a quarter turn it. It's very important to always turn it four and a quarter. Second piece <clears throat> is your eight and three quarters by three inches tall. So on the eight and three quarter side score it four and a quarter turn and score at four and a quarter again. So there you have a very narrow space in between there. And the last one's a little bit more tricky. <clears throat> First I started not to put it in there, so if you have trouble with it, you could leave it out. This is your eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. You turn and score it four, four and a quarter again. You're going to have a very, very narrow little gusset here, like an eighth of an inch right there. So it's a little hard to fold and score. That's going to be our center one. So now we're ready to assemble our little album. Now I'm going to be using art glitter glue that you can also order from Country Craft Creations. Once the temperatures uh, warm up in the winter, it can't be shipped. So I always stock up so I have plenty, hopefully, to get me through all my projects until it gets warm in the spring. Take uh, piece number one that you cut to nine and a half in the length, four and a quarter wide, and you have the widest spacing right here in the center. And then you're going to take piece number two, which is a short one. It is nine and a quarter by three and three eighths tall, and you'll see that it has a much narrower spacing in here. So what we're going to do is glue the back of this one centered 
into this one. And we're going to try to center it side to side. So that means about the same amount on each side and kind of eyeball it top to bottom. Because this is going to be offset. It's not going to be the same as your um, piece that you're putting out. Let me get this unstuck. And also I forgot to say that you need to um, fold and burnish real well all your folds, score lines. So you just fold them and give them a good burnish. I'm going to go ahead and do these again. Make sure that we have those folded up right along the fold line and burnish each one. So this is what's making our cover, this one here, and then our first page is going in. So I'm going to take glue on the back of this one. I'm using glue because it'll be real strong and also it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. I'm going to pull this down some here to uh, put these together. So I'm going to line this up and I'm going to put this down side to side. And I'm going to lay it down flat so that I can see that I'm getting about the same distance on each side. And get it straight. Okay. And go ahead and burnish that in there. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, now take number three. And again, I'm going to fold and burnish that fold, both fold lines. And on the back side of this one add some glue. And we're going to line this one up. Center it. Now this one is the same height as your original one. So line up this on the bottom. I'm just looking to see where I have it lined up, so I need to go over this away some. And get it straight up with the bottom. Right there. That looks about right the distance is so burnish. Take piece number four and we're going to center that so fold and burnish your score lines. And put glue on that little back spine there. going to center that here. I'm just going to eyeball it. Right to side. Oops, that didn't work very good. Okay, hang on tight. Okay. Just want to make sure that this is in between the score lines of the previous one. And then for the last one, this is that very skinny one, number five. And I'm just going to put a line of glue right along that fold. A little space. And like I said, if this one makes you feel uncomfortable and you don't feel like putting it in, then just don't put it in. So I'm lining it up on the bottom so it'll be lined up on the top. Right there. And just about the same distance side to side here. I'm going to burnish right there in that little 
glue and then we're going to fold it up this side and wipe off any glue here on the inside. Fold it up this way. Bring it all together there. That's the even on the side. We've got this one inch uh, spine back here, and then we have our little album. So now we're ready to uh, decorate it. So, some of my scraps that I had were the four by four cut apart. So I cut out. Um, cut-aparts to use in different areas in the 4x4 four four size. So that fits your bigger sections like that, the cover in the back. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I cut four, four inches wide by three and three quarters tall. Now since I was running out of paper, a couple of them I had to piece. So but, uh, overall, you want to be able to cover, cut mats that are four wide by three and three quarters tall. And then you also want four that are four wide by two and seven eighths tall. I have your scraps of paper. Then I had my different scraps of paper. I went through and cut everything down to like four inches wide, except for this um, winter wishes. I cut that off the snow globe, so I'm going to use that. Four inches wide, different heights to make pockets, some of your cut aparts, your three by fours, um, some of my cardstock left over from other projects in the Navy I've cut and folded into booklets. So this is just going to be depending on your scraps. So just get you an assortment of scraps <clears throat> in sizes smaller than these. So for photo mats and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and decorate this and I'm going to open it up. And for the front, I am going to ink this piece here. So this is cut to 4x4. Four four. It was a 4x6 four <coughs> cut apart. But I love the snow globe, and I'm going to put it right on the front. So I'm just going to center it there and glue it down. So I have this that I cut off the bottom of this cut apart and I cut it down just to the winter wishes. I'm going to save this. I probably will trim it down a little bit, uh, put some other color behind it and use either foam tape or chipboard to raise it up. So this one I'm going to save. And then we need a piece that's four inches by seven eighths or thereabouts. So let's see what we got here. I think this will work. So this was in my scraps. So it's you just need one piece for this spine right here. About seven eighths of an inch by four inches. So that glues there in the middle. Now for the back, I'm going to use this blue here. It's the back of another cut apart, but I left it, cut it bigger, so I could actually use this part here. Leave it as a four by four. And mat it down. 
and center it. So that's the outside right there. Quick and easy. So let's turn it back in and open it up. So we have the inside cover that we can put either one of these, kind of like that. Now, I would like to have had another one like that, but I don't, and that's okay. Because like I said, we're making this from scraps, so whatever we have left or we have to piece together, we do. So this one's going to go here. So I'm just going to keep matting all my pages, and I'm going to speed up the video and do that. And then I'll slow it back down to real time. And we'll make some pockets and belly bands and uh, add some tags and elements. So we've got all the pages patterned, I believe. So I'm double check. There's the cover, inside cover, this front and back. This one says winter, the plaid back here, front and back, front and back, front and back. Pieced some of them. There's that one, the snowflakes. This one's pieced. Let's make a snowman. I pieced this one. I actually um, cut this one too short, so I put a little strip there piece this one and then I love winter. So those are all the pages made and the next thing we're going to do is um, add some pockets and things on the inside. So what I'm going to do is look through the rest of these scraps. I'm just going to like show you on one belly band like if you want to do a belly band here, I would make it the height of the pattern paper. Or if you want to go all the way across to see if this is four inches. So this one would go here just fine. So the belly band, you just put glue on each short end. And then I'm just going to attach it down. Make sure it's centered and straight. And then burnish this part here and here really well. So now you have a belly band where you can tuck a 
cut apart or um, any type of element that you want. And you can make a little uh, a sticker stop here. So that's how you make one. I'll be decorating mine off camera. I'm going to do some pockets though. Let's see here. So this is a good pocket one for here. And I'm just going to make it a side pocket. So for a flat pocket, you put glue on the two short ends, just a thin line, and then across what you want to be the bottom. I usually keep my thumb or fingers where I don't want glue, and then you would just attach this down so that it's stuck down at the top, the bottom, and along this left edge or if you wanted to put it on the other side, whichever side you wanted to put it. So that's how you do that kind of pocket. Let it glue dry first, and I'll really burnish it down. So there's a pocket there, and so you can just go throughout anywhere you have some scraps that you want to, you know, add in. So that, you can tuck this. This is a booklet. This was about About five and three quarters. I folded it in half and it was three inches tall. So this makes a little booklet. So then you would take a scrap of paper and trim that down to cover the front. So this becomes two and three quarters. If someone cut it down two and five eighths. On the side, two and five eighths. There like that, and just a smidge off the tight. A little bit more, so I took off about an eighth of an inch off the height, and that's going to glue right there. So that's how you would do a booklet. Now if you have enough paper, you can cover the front and back. For now, I'm just going to cover the front side and leave it to where you can put pictures on the inside. Finish it down really good. Get a good crease in your booklet. And you can slide that in your pocket. So I tried to put something in here too soon, so I need to add just a little bit more glue on my pocket. So this will slide around in here like that. Okay, so I'm going to keep making uh, different little belly bands of whatever I can from my scraps. And then I'll probably put a little closure here on the front. Um, probably with some eyelets. I will show you how to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and do some decorating right now. And I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. I have all the inside of my little album done. And I'll show that to you in a bit. But first I'm going to finish decorating the front. Now this is really small. Um, it's a mini mini and it is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I again use this cut apart with the snow globe and the snowman because I really really love it. I realized that I used it on the first project that I made with this paper collection but because I love this image this is what I chose to put on the front and I have me some navy seam binding ribbon. So I cut about four, about 34 inches and I tied the knots on the end. So this little album, it does lay flat because I haven't added any photos yet, but it does lay flat like this. But when I stand it up, if I want to stand it up, it kind of does that, which is not real bad, but I'm going to put a, a tie around it. Now I already added this sticker on the back, so it will go across that, but that's okay. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add the ribbon and I'm going to tie it on. So I'm going to wrap it around about center here and we're going to make it even as possible. Now it's not going to be attached down and if you don't like the ribbon over your image, 
well, you can certainly plan ahead and put it on before you add your paper. Okay, so it's going to be like that. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it. And then I will add a piece on the spine to keep the ribbon attached to the album. So for now I'm just tying a bow here. Whoops. Attempting to tie a bow. There we go. So that's right there on the end. Like that. So right here is where we're going to put a piece. So I cut out of the scraps this little tiny piece of scrap paper that is about seven eighths by an inch and an eighth. So this is going to glue. Now I'm not, you can either glue it completely down, but I think I'm going to just glue it on each end and leave it the ribbon free in the middle. That way I can adjust the ribbon as I need to when tying the bow. So the glue like that. And so this will go this way, right over that ribbon, like you threaded it through that piece with the snowflakes on it. So I'm going to let that dry, just like that. Okay, so that's on there. Um, I put this Winter Wishes uh, cutout that came with this piece here, and I matted it to some of the blue cardstock, the denim blue and to a little bit of the red from the pattern paper. And I did cut it at an angle, slightly smaller on this end and bigger on this end. And I'm thinking I am going to put it right up here. Now I wanted to make it have a little lift and I wanted to show you how to do that. If you don't have any foam squares, and sometimes foam squares you can kind of see them from the side. Um, and you don't want to use chipboard because you have to color it from my scraps of the uh, cardstock. I cut these little pieces. They don't have to be exact. There's two on that side. I'm going to equal here. Two, three. So I've got four pieces. So what I'm doing is I'm going to glue four pieces together to provide just a little bit of lift for this little saying here. So you just keep stacking them together. And you can stack as many as you want for as thick as you want to make the lift of your little piece. So this is a great way to use up scraps and it's got the color of the project so when you look from the side you're really not going to notice anything under there. So that's the one side right there. Okay and we'll do the others same way just glue them together and like I said just put the glue in the center it doesn't matter if all the little pieces are the same exact size. If that bothers you, then you can certainly cut that with a trimmer, make them trimmer, and make them all the same. But you're going to see that it's not going to show. Okay, so we have four lifts, four pieces of cardstock together to form a slight lift for this little saying. So you see, I've cut them so that they fit within the width. Put some glue on one and turn it and stick it down here on the end. Yeah, kind of off the edge. And the other one. On the other end. Like that. So now then, we put glue on just this lift part. Okay. And then we're going to angle it a little bit across the top of the snowman's head on the globe. And just press that down and let that dry. So you see it gives just a little bit of lift. I don't know if you can tell, but you don't see any white foam or anything showing underneath there. So that's a great, great tip to learn. Uh, next I'm going to put some flowers. Now I know it's not Christmas, it's winter, but Poinsettias are still a winter flower, and I love this kind of lighter red peachy color, I guess. It's lighter than the scarf of the snowman, but I still think it, it looks good. And I think I'm going to lay it here, and I'm going to make sure that I'm only gluing it so that it doesn't attach to the ribbon. 
So I'm going to glue the lower half of the flower. And I do use uh, art glitter glue to glue my flowers. It takes just a few seconds for it to really dry and attach. Uh, hot glue works great. That's what you like. It's not my favorite. I don't like the strings. And if it's hot, I usually burn myself. So, um, yeah, this turn is this way. No glue at the top. No glue at the top. Okay. So press that down and let that dry. It's a nice flat flower, so it's gonna it's gonna work really good. And then I should have put these underneath. I want some of these. They're kind of big, but they came with that flower. So I'm still gonna use those. I'm gonna tuck them in under before the flower actually completely glues down. I'm gonna tuck it way in there like that. And this one was smaller, so it should tuck in better. Let's see. On the other side, quickly before my flower attaches down completely, like that. So it's just kind of peeking out. Okay, so that's really pretty. I like that. And um, I don't know, this may be almost done. I might put some rhinestones up here. So where's my little rhinestones? Let me find those. Uh, the smallest ones. And wipe off my glue a little bit here. I've got a little bit too much on the end. I'm going to put a small one on each corner. Let those dry just a bit. Then I'm going to pull this open and readjust just a little bit, maybe. Kind of got it longer on one side. So by not gluing that paper completely down, I'm gonna pull this and this away. So see, you can pull and adjust. And I've left the tails a little bit longer because. I have adding photos and I notice here I got some glue on the ribbon after all so I'm going to clean that off got some of the leaf on there should come completely off it's not completely dried down so there we go and that's why I said be careful with your glue I should have probably pulled this out pulled it back okay so anyway there's the cover I'm going to clean that off a little bit with a baby wipe when I take untie it. And then I will show you what I did on the inside. And we'll be done with this little mini, mini winter wishes album. My little mini, mini winter wishes album is finished. All decorated on the front and all the pages are done. And I'm going to show you what all I did off camera so that you'll know. I did share doing this decorating on the front, I let everything dry while I added, changed my nails and added glitter instead of the solid pink. Anyway, we're going to untie this right here on the side. And you can just lay this aside and then open it up. So on the inside, I just left this uh, little scenery paper page here. So you can add a photo there. Here on the first offset page, I did a little belly band, added the cold sticker from the collection. Uh, trimmed down a cut apart and clipped it on and the one on the back with a paper clip. Now this is a sticker. It says let it snow with the little bear and I put that on some of the cardstock and just uh, slid it under there and added a patterned paper um, photo mat. This is one of the 4x4 four four cut aparts. It says winter. You could still put a picture over that if you wanted to. Here's one of the pockets that I made. I did add a strip of the artisan spectrum. I mean the Authentique Spectrum cardstock in the denim blue here to kind of offset the patterns. And then I created a little booklet out of some of the cardstock. You just take your scraps, fold them in half, and then cut scraps of pattern paper to cover the front. And then I added a sticker, and then I tucked a piece of the pattern paper into the pocket as a photo mat. For this next offset page, I matted a sticker from the collection onto some 
uh, cardstock, fussy cut around it, and then just glued the sides and the bottom a little bit, and then made a little sticker out of another, I mean a tag out of a sticker, and by matting it to cardstock on the back and adding some seam binding ribbon. So that just tucks in there. And on the back side of that, I added a little pocket to this little offset page and created another booklet, the same as I did the other one. Just cardstock folded in half, added pattern paper, and then added a sticker on the top, and that just tucks in there. So this is a full page with a 4x4 cut apart, and same on this side, there's no, there's no place like home. I don't know why I can't say that very good. Here's another pocket on the bottom. I made a tag out of the scrap of the pattern paper, a little tiny booklet. I took a scrap of the pattern paper and just folded it in half and added a sticker. So that's really cute. And then, of course, a photo mat out of the cardstock, out of the denim blue. So I, uh, for my mats, I kind of combined denim blue and navy cardstock because I had some navy scraps left over. The back side of this, I attached a denim blue piece of cardstock over the pieced paper page. Here is another little pocket out of, of pattern paper on this offset page. I put sledding and the little snowflake, those are stickers. I made another little booklet. This is out of the um, solid paper from the collection. So it's got brown on the inside and the blue on the outside and another sticker. And then this is a sticker uh, attached to some of the cardstock and then I just tucked a scrap that I trimmed down to a photo mat inside there. And here we have a cut apart that I attached to cardstock. Again, you could put a picture on the back. Oh dear, winter is here. And then I had a circle piece already cut, so I just glued it about a quarter of it on the bottom to make kind of like extended, like a tuck spot, because this is a pieced two pieces of paper pieced on the back here. So that just tucks in there. It looks like a pocket, but it's just a tuck spot. Another 4x4 four four cut apart. This offset page is pieced. And then I just added some more of the pattern paper. I cut out Eat, Drink, and Be Cozy and just put it on there. You could still cover that with a photo. And here's the pieced paper on this, the back side. And I added a photo mat here. Then this is another 4x4 four four cut apart and I put a sticker on the back. So again, they just wrap the ribbon around. It kind of goes under the flowers where I didn't glue them down. Just kind of pull that in and then tie it in a bow to keep it closed. So that's my Little Winter Wishes mini album that I created for Country Craft Creations as a, one of their designers using from my designer package what I had left from the Echo Park My Favorite Winter Paper Collection and using Artisan Cardstock. This is a cardstock album. It's not made out of chipboard and it is small. Again, it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter square with a one inch spine. So I want to thank you so much for watching my tutorial and video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will have a try at making one of these quick and fun little easy uh, mini albums. Be sure to check out CountryCraftCreations.com for their online store, for your, all your paper crafting supplies. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and click on that bell beside the subscribe button so that you'll be notified of my next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.